New at 7 o'clock. Have you seen this duo right here? Well, they look like they were just out for a stroll, but actually they were out to nab that car right there. 10 News reporter Michael Chen has the rash of similar crimes that's prompting one neighborhood to take a stand. If you follow me back into this backyard, I want to show you this car. It is the story behind this car that shows how one neighborhood is fighting back. Inside this 98 Honda Civic. They took the stereo and the amplifier. There isn't much left. They broke the turn signals, the ignition switch. That's why we have to take everything apart. They are believed to be this duo, a man taking a stroll near Polk Avenue in City Heights, a woman on the lookout. It makes me angry. Frustration for Lily, the owner of the Honda, after re-watching this surveillance video. I don't know, I couldn't believe it. In the video shot last Tuesday, the man checks out a mailbox, then walks up to the Honda, somehow prize open the window. He gets in, then his friend, before they take off. Panic, but like, whoa, like, is this really happening? Within hours, Lily found her car missing. Days later, the car was found in a nearby alley. And they crashed it against the fence. Neighbors put the footage on nextdoor.com. Lorem Kimaraches recently helped start a neighborhood group. About a year ago, my sister's car was stolen right here in this corner. To combat a rash of crimes. A block away in early May, someone tossed rocks into parked cars. On a crime mapping website, we found within a one mile radius, 14 car break-ins and 23 stolen cars in the last month. A lot of neighbors are scared. Scared, but determined. Getting the word out on an unsolved crime, an important first step. They want to have a change in the neighborhood. Michael Chen, 10 News. The neighborhood group is meeting monthly to decide how to combat this crime. The neighbor who caught the car theft on surveillance video tipped us off to this story. If you have a story that you would like us to check out, just email us at tips at 10news.com.